We continue here on Pregame Live. Brody, Stu, and some Game of Thrones. Now, these are spoilers if you haven't watched the series finale, which occurred yesterday on HBO. Stu is a huge television fan. I'm buying you just a little bit of time to turn off the TV or change the channel. Do whatever you need to do if you don't want to hear these spoilers. Stu's got some hot takes. We only have about three minutes. I know you're a talker. Can you be quick? Can we get through these? I'll be as quick as I right. can. Now that it's over. The entire series, what was better for you, Dexter, which I know you liked, or Game of Thrones? Dexter. Why? Because the ending was proper. It was set perfectly for what Dexter had done okay. during the course of the series. All right, so I guess this answers question number two. Final season and final episode of Game of Thrones. I'm going to say good or bad or somewhere in between. I thought it was good. Why exactly did you think it was bad? Oh, God, I thought it was bad. First of all, you, 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 you killed Daenerys in the first few minutes of the scene, and then after that, you're left to figure out what, what else is going to happen the rest of the way. We've got a guy who has been literally in a wheelchair for the whole series. He becomes the king Brandon of, Stark. Yeah. of everything and everybody. Okay. And then, but that's great. It was unexpected. You well, don't want to know everything. That but it, happens. it was just—it was just uneventful. Uneventful. Yes. The only thing that was eventful is that Jon Snow, who nobody thought had the nerve or the guts to kill Daenerys, he killed him. You can't burn down King's Landing and kill White Walkers every episode. All right, let me move on to that. So number three, reaction to Bran and Stark being the king, and everybody thought that somebody would sit on the Iron Throne at the end. There wasn't even an Iron Throne. Well, the dragon burned down the, burned the Iron Throne as soon as as soon as Jon Snow killed Daenerys. So there was no Iron Snow. I mean, there was Iron no throne. Iron Throne to be, to be sat on. Yeah. But um, I did kind of like the fact that he is the king because... Um, as Tyrion said, I mean, this guy had witnessed far more than, than was expressed during the course of this show. He had seen it all, and he saw it before it was going to happen. Right. So I am kind of glad he was, he, was, he, was, uh, he was given the throne. Daenerys killed by Jon Snow, is my opinion, both would have ended up being bad leaders. See, I think that Jon Snow would have been a great leader. Indecisive, too indecisive for me. Too indecisive. And Daenerys got crazy. I think for you to rule, you have to have compassion and have heart. Can't and let love get in the way, though. Well, but, Come on. but Samson, what happened to Samson when he got all of his hair cut off? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. You know Samson and Delilah. <laughs> uh, are you happy that Tyrion Lannister lived and his siblings, Jamie and Cersei, did not make it? I am happy that Tyrion I lived. Love I, I love loved him. him. I yes. loved him from, from day one. He was honest. He was direct. He said what he thought. Yep. He didn't care. Um, and but I am I am sad that Jamie was killed. I'm yeah. glad that Cersei he turned, he turned glad, around. Yeah, I'm glad that Cersei got 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 off. Probably it should have been a worse fate. I can relate to Tyrion too. I drink and I know things. At least I like to think that. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, best candidate for a future spinoff. I'm gonna say. Arya and Sansa, the Stark girls, get their own spinoff show. You say the girls, I say Arya because Arya is the bomb. Yeah. That young lady yeah, right there, her, yeah. bro. She she learned her lessons and she put those to use. She deserves her own. She turned into a savage by the end of this uh, series. And nobody geez. would have been there if she didn't kill the Night King. Um, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, the last three minutes meant nothing to you. We apologize for that, but sorry, not sorry.